I would like to welcome you to the upper echelon. I want you to be honest and don't you lie. Don't you think of lying. Be for real. You're not a Bud Crawford fan. You just hate Spence, right? Hate it or love it, the underdogs on top. Coach Derrick James is not only a coach, but he is a teacher, a philosopher. He has a doctorate or a PhD in boxing. He breaks down boxing to the smallest molecule. He knows everything about his students inside and out. Strengths and weaknesses, their limits, and also how to push them. He also teaches them to push past that limit into a new dimension of skills. Boxing is chess and Derrick James is Bobby Fischer. He is always 12 steps ahead of his opponent and his boxer's opponent. And he comes with his own secret techniques and teaching it like a Shaolin warrior. With Spence, he comes with the ruthless barrage of body shots. With Charlo, he has a rifle and pistol and shot that pinpoints accuracy and timing. And with the young Frank Martin, who is exceptionally well and underlooked, he comes with a pinpoint pulling cobra punch that sits him down eventually. And he teaches them how to transition from defense to offense all in a different set of ways, in a different style to match their build as a character. Master of the 10,000 hour technique. No one can exceed without an innate talent. Achievement through talent is through preparation. Nobody walks into an operating room straight out of a surgical class and does world-class neurosurgery. And secondly, the most crucial amount of practice is necessary for exceptional performance. So it's extensive practice that people end up on top and they also have someone to guide them with the conditions that make all the practicing in the years possible to achieve the enlightenment and the greatness of their craft. The average time to reach master status is at least 11,000 hours and to reach a status beyond that is 14,000 hours and Coach James and his students put in hours on hours on hours they had a grand stage of enlightenment and understanding so anyone who steps in the ring against any of Derrick James students will be going against one of the most prepared people ever it'll be the fight of their life because they're always going to be fully prepared mentally, physically, and emotionally. And they're going to perform at the level beyond the top level. Because this is what Derrick James teaches. This is what he practices. This is what he instills in his fighters. Now we're going to take a look at Errol Spence, Jamel Charlo, and Frank Martin. And how Derrick James has provided a special style, a Shaolin style, for their own skills and abilities to attack their opponent and become victorious and a grand master in their craft of As said boxing. before, Derrick James is a master, so the hunted stinging bees into the pulling counter cobra strike is the best style for young Frank Martin because he's so athletic, so quick, power in both hands, and he's very technically and skilled and his reflexes are like that of a cobra. Better yet, a king cobra. And Derrick James utilizes that to the best of his abilities. First, Sensei James makes sure Frank Martin is in the best physical shape possible. And training alongside the likes of Earl the True Spence and Jamel, Lion Only Charlo, he has no choice but to be in the top physical position and a peak of himself. And with those two guys beside him, he's gonna push beyond that barrier. So Frank Martin shows up in the incredible shape in which Derrick James has him in. He practiced countless hours as all of Sensei James students and he works on timing and speed. And he will lead out with the jab and he comes with the Cobra Strike. A lot of times you will see Frank Martin, he leads with the jab. He had paw a couple times, wait for you to move and then he strikes just like a cobra following a fluke and he pays attention to his opponent and if you watch he's sitting there always watching eyes is always there and as soon as you make a mistake it could be a deadly one a fatal one when you get stung by the cobra the poison courses through your veins and just like a poisonous cobra snake 
Frank Martin delivers his shots quickly and efficiently and effortlessly. And the stinging bees, you getting injected with this venom every time he pounds you because he is very light and fast. I mean, it's like the speed of light the way he tags. Him. But the secret to all Derrick James techniques is fatigue. See, all of his fighters go into a fight willing to go 20 rounds, 15 rounds, as many rounds needed to be to get the victory. So when a fighter starts off against another fighter, y'all both is at 100% energy. And the reason why Derrick James fighters look like they're getting stronger with the fight is because they don't reach their plateau until late into the fight. As they reach their plateau around the 6th or 7th round, the other opponent has been sapped of his strength from the stinging shots. The bees are stinging, sapping his strength, sapping every ounce of fortitude out of them. So by the time they reach the 6th or 7th round, they're already on a sharp decline. That means they're not even 40 or 30% of themselves while Frank is just now hitting the peak just now hitting his stride and now he's ready to unleash everything that he has worked so hard in the gym for and that's why the farther the fight goes the sloppier the opponent gets a sharp knife after it's been used so long becomes dull and when you become dull that's when you get hit with the pulling counter cobra and when he pulls back and fires it's hard to survive the strike from a cobra unless you got anti-venom and too much venom will overpower the anti-venom. So watch, every fight you see Martin in, you will see a hundred bees sting. Every time you get hit, that's your energy. It saps your body. You sap in strength. You're sapping power. And when you continue to get stung over and over and over, you have nothing left. And when you're sitting there, you're just right there, and the cobra got the stare on you, locks in, eyes on you, and then guess what? It strikes. And once the cobra strikes, it enjoys this meal afterwards because it paralyzes you. Have you ever seen how a cobra paralyzes his victim with fear? See, he's done been stung a thousand times, hundred times, so many times he can't count. So now he's just trying to make sure he doesn't get hit again. And in the process of not getting hit, he makes a mistake. He throws a foolish shot and the snake rears back his ugly head and then it fires within a blink of an eye the blink and it's all over and Frank Martin has that type of power he has that type of stopping ability he has those reflexes like I said Derrick James is a master he's an artist he's a sensei he a sage even a guru and he knows how to utilize each fighter's special abilities and hone it to maximum effectiveness. The 135 division is on notice because Frank Martin is there and he is a force to be reckoned with. And he could go toe to toe, blow for blow, body to body and skill for skill with anybody in that division. And it's gonna be a hard press for you to take down any of Coach Derrick James fighters. Just look at them, top shape, excellent skills and perfect tutelage and they use them to the greatest ability possible plus the teacher and student bond is so great because not only is he their teacher he's also their mentor and Derrick James has the greatest gift of all he has his students trust and when a person trusts you fully like Charlo Spence and Martin does then there's nothing that they can't do together because anything he tells them they know it's for the best and they know that he would not put them in a situation which would not benefit them frank martin future undisputed champion